Hi, this is Jim Turbord with Chris Daughters at the Caddis Fly, uh, continuing our series of Clear Cure Goo Coronamid patterns. Today I'm going to tie uh, a bloodworm, uh, the larva pattern, and I have a uh, size 10 straight eye hook here. We want a thin hook, a very small red bead, and for the ribs, I'm going to tie in one strand of silver crystal flash and one strand of black. The body is going to be the red Lagerton 150 thread. So I'm just going to wind this forward, very easy fly to tie. Actually I forgot something, I'm going to take a couple of strands of red crystal flash that I will tie in at the tail to give it that little segmented tail part. And we'll still keep everything very thin here. We'll trim that off later. So now I'm just going to wrap, let's trim this, wrap the thread forward. Bloodworms are often on the very bottom. They'll be uh, early in the morning. They don't like light. How does it look here? You're fishing this out uh, pretty deep then. Uh, well, it can also be in shallower water because they'll exist in uh, in less than five feet. But uh, it's under usually under an indicator, twitch it every once in a while. So now to make the segments silver and black, I've got my two pieces of crystal flash. Again, I'm going to kind of hold them together. Try to make uh, maybe six or seven segments. Tie it off, trim the excess, let's trim this right away. A couple of half hitches. We don't need to whip finish because this will be covered with the clear cure goo. So that's the, the fly. Now I'm going to turn it down like this as I apply, and I've got the clear cure goo thin. And I like to apply this with my bodkin on a small fly like this. So I just pick up a little bit like that, rub it on, and the viscosity of this product is really wonderful to work with. So much better than epoxy and it will flow down a little bit you don't have to worry about brushing it and I got a little bit of thread there little fish so let's have it move around a bit level out Okay, then we take the light, we're going to cure this. No, you, if you didn't like that, you could have just wiped it off and started over. Absolutely, could wipe it off. Um, here's the bodkin, you want to clean it, there it is, but the product would just sit there. So uh, we've got that little bump, but I'm not going to worry about it. Then I take the hydro. Again, I'm going to turn it down because I want it to flow that way. Which is a thinner, tack-free material. Yes, this and this really puts the shine, and it's tack-free. You have to be a little more careful with this, but it is a wonderful product. Again, easy to work with. So let's cure this one. And if you wanted to put another coat of thin over that, you could have. You can you can work with all these products in conjunction to build mass if you wanted to. Absolutely, you could build uh, several layers, but I find you can you can 
put it on pretty thick the first time with the clear pure goo, whereas a Sally Hansen's you have to build and build and build. And there's a finished bloodworm.